Okay, my friends, very serious issue today. Kids have peanut issues. They have um, problems with allergic reactions to peanuts. Some kids, not all of them, obviously. And the ones that do, can, they can die from it, literally die from it. Now, they have been, they're encouraged because they've been given them peanut flour, a tiny little bit of peanut flour at a very early age. And, and their bodies seem to, a little, a few of them, only one in five though, not, no, it wasn't a full success by any means. And it was only two and a half years after that they really realized they were getting some results, it sounds to me, no. Uh, and the control group that they had, had virtually no response. So they know that the peanut butter flour did something, but only 20%. Now, what did it do? Why is peanut butter flour in tiny, tiny, small amounts at this young age give you some immunity to peanut butter? Well, the reason is, is that your immune system has to recognize chemistry. Peanut butter is a chemistry. It's a chemical. It's, and everything that you take into your body is chemicals. And your body has to recognize. Is that a good chemical? Is it a bad chemical? Well, they see the the uh, peanut butter chemical as a, a really bad, bad thing coming into your body and they mount a storm against it that just kills your body because it can't fight against it. There's nothing to fight with. Well, what does it fight with? It fights with bacteria, programmed bacteria that say, hey, if you see the peanut butter in there, it's okay. Don't get crazy. Don't, don't go crazy. Have a good time. Throw a little jelly on there and make a sandwich out of it. But other people say, whoa, 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 I got nothing to deal with that peanut butter. Don't get that in me because I'll die. And that is what is happening. Now, what are they missing? Okay, the findings aren't the first evidence of the effectiveness of peanut immunotherapy. This is going to be the new word you're going to hear every day now. Immunotherapy. Oh, yeah, we're going to use immunotherapy to cure that. Yes, because immunotherapy means your body knows what to do to handle it. So they're giving them these little bits and pieces of the peanut so that they can say, hey, ooh, that stuff's not really good to have around here. Let's f get, come up with a program. It didn't kill us this time, but if they really took a ton of it at a time, it would kill us. So we better figure out a way to deal with this. And that's what your body does. Your body is a, a program, and it programs bacteria. Literally, and I'm not kidding you, figuratively, literally, the bacteria receive a program. And the program says, if you see this chemical come in here, Here's the chemical I want you to make. And that, and that bacteria makes that one chemical only. One chemical. Case closed. And if that bacteria is not there, you cannot create that chemical. You will die. Here's the key right here. Here's what's happening to these kids. They eat peanuts, peanut, or whatever, and then they go into anaphylaxis, which is a, a shock. Anaphylaxis causes the immune system, which is the bacteria to release a flood of chemicals, because that's what they do. The bacteria release the chemicals. Your body says, hey, we need to do something about this peanut that's coming down here. And they said, well, we don't have any peanut butter juice to kill it. And he said, well, then shoot out anything you got. And it causes these chemicals, can cause you to go into shock. The blood pressure drops suddenly, the airways narrow, blocking breathing, signs and symptoms of rapid, weak pulse, skin rash, nausea and vomiting. Why would you get nauseous and vomiting? Your digestive system is gone into crisis mode. So what is the reality of the situation? Your body says, hey, we're being poisoned. Literally poisoned. If you ate cyanide, your body do the same thing. as ah, we're being poisoned. And you die. That's what's happening with the peanuts. Your body cannot deal with the chemistry of that peanut. We need to be able to get the bacteria in there that says, oh, yeah, it's a peanut, no problem, because everybody else has it. Why shouldn't these people have it? All right, here it is right here. Does poisoning cause vomiting? <laughs> Absolutely. Signs and symptoms of poison can imitate signs and symptoms of common illnesses, which are, again, they're diseases of the gut. For example, nausea and vomiting are a sign of sim and symptom of poisoning.
Well, you're being poisoned by, it doesn't have to be cyanide, it doesn't have to be something toxic, it can be the normal food you eat if you cannot respond to it. That's why people get diarrhea and indigestion and nausea and vomiting and um, acid reflux. All of those things are the digestive issues because you cannot deal with the input and every single molecule that you take into your body has to. 100% must be worked with by bacteria. You don't have the bacteria, that stuff just goes in and out. And if it's bad for you, it's going to go in and hurt something in you. And that's what this is doing. we got to figure out what the bacteria in the body is supposed to be. We don't even know. All the money they spend about health, they have no idea what bacteria is supposed to be in your body. And they don't even know what it does. I'm serious. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. All the money that's been spent, all the years of, we're doing this, we're doing that. Well, what bacteria is it? Well, we have no idea. <laughs> so I'm saying, I'm serious. It's just it's tragic, really.